All right. To do the oil change on our SV650, we're going to start by locating this bolt here. There's the kickstand for reference. This is the drain bolt. Uh, make sure you have a pan or some kind of witch's cauldron to catch all your witch's brew, aka used oil. Um, I already cracked the bolt. It is a 14 millimeter socket. The engine is cold. Be careful because it you don't want it to be hot and like spill on your hand and burn the crap out of you. So we're going to remove the drain bolt someday. Wow. Alright, you ready? There it goes. That's uh, pretty dark there. So we're just going to let this drain for a bit. And when it stops, we'll... Okay, that's barely draining. Our oil filter is right here next to kind of the drain plug over here. Um, if you're changing your oil filter, just pop this off too. I already cracked mine with a socket, so it's easier for me to take off. You can get an oil wrench tool, oil filter, wow, oil filter wrench tool or something like that. Then you just let that drain as well. It's been about 10 minutes and we're just seeing like little tiny drips now. All the old oil is pretty much out, so we're going to plug up our train bolt and put the new filter on. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, it stopped dripping, so I'm sticking our drain bolt back in. You need to make sure it's all plugged up before you put new oil in it, or else it's all just going to spill out. So, let me get this on. That's pretty good. Now we're going to stick on our new oil. Alright, before you put on your new oil filter, you have to put a little bit of oil around the seal here so that it stays. So I poured just a little bit of oil in this cap. Just going to take my finger, get it wet, put it on the seal. Get it all nice and lubed up like. Make sure the seal's good. It's all nice and shiny. So the sticker filter, we'll stick it on. Alright, you want to get it as tight as you can with your hand. And then you just want to do like a little quarter turn, just a little bit to keep it on there with your socket. And you want to do the same thing for the drain bolt. We're just going to do a little quarter turn and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so now we're on the right side of the motorcycle. This right here is where we keep all the oily goodness. So we're going to take this off and we are going to just pour it in there. Go nice and slow though. A funnel would be really helpful, but I don't have one right now. Okay, so I put about two and three quarters of these one liter bottles in here. Right in that hole. What we're looking for is for this to say full. Um, it's supposed to say full when it's hot, but I put too much in and it says full while the engine's cold. One thing to keep in mind is that I have this up on stands. If you're just using the kickstand and the bike is tilted over, you're going to need to pick it up straight and look at this. And so, just keep that in mind, but yeah, that's how you change the oil. If you put too much in, it'll just burn off. There's valves and stuff. 
<clears throat> if you put in too much like I did, it's not that big a deal. It'll kind of take care of itself. It's better to have too much than too little. But <clears throat> we're going to put this back on. We're going to start up the bike, check for any leaks, and call it a day. Hopefully that was helpful and you now know how to change the oil for your bike. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe, like, comment, let me know it was helpful. I'm leaving links to the things I use, like the oil filter and oil, in the description if you want to check that out. And yeah, good luck.